G'day everyone, my name is Matthew Erickson and we're going to take a look today at how we can back up our Kubernetes data. So why are we talking about backup when containers are stateless? Well, there are two main reasons. Stateless applications eventually need to be migrated for lifecycle events or Kubernetes version upgrades and stateful containers require protection of their persistent data. Effectively, we're planning for the failure of hardware, software, or even just plain old human error. So before we get into the mechanics of how protection actually works, it's important to consider all of the sources of data outside of your Kubernetes cluster as well, whether that be the sandbox development environments for your developers, your container image registries and Helm charts, to the eventual writing of your persistent data down to your storage subsystem which I've shown here as Rook and CSI, but could be any one of the software defined or traditional storage of vendors available today. So what is an application? Well, that's a little bit of a work in progress. The application CRD program is working on recording the dependencies between uh, API resources or objects. But today you can safely assume that an application is a collection of API resources and optionally some persistent data. So let's take a look now at the two use cases or the two methods by which you can perform protection today. Looking at data centric backup, there is a custom operator typically that coordinates the scheduling of volume snapshot and then replication to an alternate or secondary uh, storage array, which you can see at the bottom there. And that custom operator provides resources that allow both scheduling and retention of those snapshots. The recovery in that use case is taking those snapshots or snapshot, creating a volume out of that, and then rescheduling the application on the remote cluster using developer uh, supplied YAML or application manifests. The application centric version of protection has one important distinction, which we can see in step one here. In step one, we are collecting the application manifests or config uh, so that both the config or application metadata is recorded along with the persistent data in step two. This method allows us to then go and recreate the volume and then reschedule the application in step two using all of the recorded application uh, metadata. And this allows us to recover that application to any API compatible cluster. So which method is best? Which one should you use? As always, it depends. If you are orchestrating your infrastructure from Kubernetes, and you're using kubectl or GitOps to manage your infrastructure, then the, the data-driven approach offers a vastly enhanced protection capability because you can leverage things like change block tracking and replication that are not available via the CSI today. If you have centralized operations teams that are performing lifecycle or centralized uh, backup and recovery for traditional and containerized apps, then the application centric model may be more appropriate for you. So moving on, if we look at our Harbor data now, we can see that the, the, the screenshot in the bottom right here indicates that even Harbor, the Harbor project recommends performing backup of your Harbor instance before you do upgrades. So replication is not a backup here. You should absolutely have a method for taking a copy of your Harbor application config or metadata and the underlying data as well. So what's happening now in the industry? You know, you've got, you've got your existing applications completely under control and protected. What else is happening? Well, there's lots of enhancement going on with the CSI so that uh, CSI will eventually be able to support things like change block tracking or consistency group snapshots. So lots going on, uh, definitely get involved in the community, stay on top of what the data protection working group are doing there and, and bring your knowledge and experience in providing data protection to that group. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thank you.